Hello everyone, it's Deb Floros for Art Beats. Have you ever wanted to honor someone at Mother's Day? Well, this pendant, quote unquote pendant, is something that you can use to make a really simple necklace and actually it's a clasp. So it's got a hole on one side and then it's got a slide clasp on the other. So you can pull that out and pull it away from the actual rest of the clasp. And it's a great focal piece. I love to show the clasp. And I'm going to match that beautiful, beautiful pendant clasp with this incredible Bead Links white glass pearl and silver plated chain. This is a four millimeter um, chain and I'm going to double it up on each side of my pendant. I'm also going to throw in a little accent, that rhinestone bead. I love the look of pearls and rhinestones together. So those two things make things super fancy, but also not fancy in kind of a strange way. So first of all, I'm going to line up my um, chain and kind of see how much I think I need on each side. I'm not cutting or removing anything yet, but I'm going to use a beading awl to kind of find that center point of the chain. And I'm going to start with making this the length of the chain that I have. So I bought four feet um, to do this project. And these are links that you can actually open. So you can use your chain nose pliers, open up one of those links. Then I'm going to use some four millimeter jump rings to actually attach my chain to that beautiful pendant clasp. And the little um, hole on one side of your pendant is a little bit unusual, but it works just great with a jump ring. So I'm attaching two pieces of chain, but it's actually just kind of um, folded over. It, it kind of looks folded over at that one end. On the other side, I had one extra link, which I took off, and I'm just going to attach those other two pieces of chain to that little slide clasp, um, which will fit into the clasp pendant. And you can leave it on while you're attaching. Um, if you'd like. Either way, you can take it out or you can leave it in your pendant. And I'm just using chain nose pliers to attach. Now I've got a lot of chain, but I did hang this up to see how long it was to make sure that I get the right length for my necklace. And I decided it was a little bit too long, so I found the right place to remove the chain um, and shorten it up. And because you've got four strands, you're gonna to need to remove um, four sections, but then you can reattach those pieces. And I'm just gonna add this little accent. This is an ode to my mom. It's Mother's Day time. So I'm just adding her a little glinty piece of her favorite color onto this um, beautiful chain. And I'm just adding it directly to one of the links on a head pin, just doing a little bit of wire wrap action to get that on. And it's just a nice little dangly accent to add to this necklace. You don't have to do that, but you might wanna pick a fun bead to just break up that pearly chain. I love how this came out. I hope you'll give this project a try. You can find everything to make this piece at artbeads.com. Thanks so much for watching.